Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In this video, we'll learn about factors and multiples. We'll focus on finding the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of a set of numbers. This can usually be referred to as HCF and LCM. Some of the key words that we'll be talking about are factors, multiple, prime, factor, Venn diagram and such. It is important for us to understand what a prime number is. A prime number is a whole number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. I repeat, it's a number that is greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. And a factor is a whole number that can be divided evenly into another number. So we can say 2 is a factor of 6 or 2 is a factor of 16. Now when it comes to prime numbers, since these are whole numbers greater than 1 and they can only be divided by 1 and itself, its factors is 1 and itself. So our first prime number is so 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and it goes all the way to 29 and beyond. It is important for us to understand this concept as we develop further to see how we can find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. With the highest common factor, what happens is a common factor is a number that is a factor of two or more numbers. So whenever you have a number that is a factor of two or more, we call that a common factor. An example, if we have 12 and 20, 1, 2, and 4 are common factors of 12 and 20. So the highest common factor of two or more numbers is the greatest number which divides each of them exactly. By this, we can now conclude to say the highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4 because 4 is the greatest number that divides into 12 and 20. You can easily do this by first finding all the factors of the numbers given then find the common factors. So identify the common factors. You can do this by circling. Then pick the greatest of all the factors of 10. That is the highest common factor. With the lowest common multiple, a common multiple is a number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. So the common multiples of 3 and 4 are 0, 12, 24, and 36. So these are numbers which are multiples of 3 and 4. So the lowest or the least common multiple of the two numbers is the smallest number, not 0. So it's the smallest non-zero number that is a multiple of both. After listing all the multiples, you have to identify the smallest common one of the two. We have multiples of 3. So once you have the multiples of 3, which can be 0, 3, 6, 9, and it goes all the way. Then the multiples of 4 are also listed. So to identify the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4, we have to see which one is the lowest or the least, which is not 0. So the least in this case is 12. Now how do we find the HCF and LCM using sets, specifically the Venn diagram? What happens is first we want to express 90 as a product of its prime factors. Please remember you can actually get questions in your final exam which will be requesting you express as a product of its prime factors. So in this case, let's see how 90 will look like. So we have to split 90 as a product of its prime factors. And the smallest prime number is 2. So let's check first if 2 can divide into our number. If 2 can't, we go to the next one, which is 3. In this case, 2 can divide into 90. We get 45. So we split 90 as 2 times 45. Now we have to look at 45. Can we split 45 as a product? Let's see, 2 cannot divide into 45. Let's check now the next prime number, which is 3. Can 3 divide into 45? Yes, we get 15. And we do the same thing again. Check if 3 can still divide into 15. 3 divide into 15? Yes, we get 5. Now, 
Is there a number or a prime number which can divide into 5? No. 5 in itself is a prime number. So we can conclude that 90 can be expressed as a product of its prime factors as 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And we can rewrite it as 2 times 3 squared times 5. Because 3 times 3 is equal to 3 squared. We are now going to express the prime factor trees of 24 and 60. We will be doing the same as what we have just done with 90. So let's start with 60. Can 2 divide into 60? Yes, it does divide. We get 30. So we look again at 30. Can 2 divide into 30? Let's see. We get 15. We can split 15 again. Let's see. Can 2 still divide into 15? No. So we go to 3 and we get 5. So we can actually express 60 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now let's look at 24. Doing the same, can you quickly express 24 as a prime vector 3? Let's reveal. 2 goes in there, we get 12. And 2 does go into 12 again, we get 6. We can also split 6 by 2 and 3. And we can say these are the prime vectors of 12. 24. We are going to have two sets. This set, students sitting for IGCSE 36. So the students who are sitting for the statistics exam are going to be presented here. Then we also have students who are going to sit for mathematics. What happens is these sets will overlap. And remember, the area which is located in the middle is always for students who are sitting for both subjects. So we are going to represent our details in these Venn diagrams, but always you indicate the intersection of the two sets in the middle. Let's now see how we can express 24 and 60 to extract the data. So for 24 and 60, what happens is all the prime factors which appear for 24 and 60, we are going to put them in the middle. So what do we have? We have 2, 3, and 3. And then whatever will remain outside, we will now indicate it in the areas which are shown like that. How do we then find the highest common factor? Once you have represented or you have placed all the elements of your prime factors, so the highest common factor is formed out of the product of numbers which are found in the intersection area. So if we multiply all the numbers in the intersection, we can quickly find the highest common factor. So we are multiplying in this case 2 times 2 times 3. So for the lowest common multiple, we can find it by multiplying all the factors which are listed in our Venn diagram. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 will give us the lowest common multiple. So what we are going to do now, create a Venn diagram using the prime factor trees below. So we have been given the prime factor trees already. Okay, so we are going to place 3 in the middle. And then we will put what remains for 6, which is 2 and 5 will go there. And by this, we can conclude that 3 is the highest common factor. And the lowest common multiple is found by multiplying all of them, which is 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, so the lowest common multiple will be 30. It is time for us to do this independent activity. We are going to create a Venn diagram for 120 and 84. Let's pause this video and go through it and let us see what you come up with. It's time to reveal. You now have to put the information in the Venn diagram. Remember what you put in the middle? Those common factors. So we have 2, 2, 2 and 2 and 2 and also 3. So we are going to put our 2 in there, another 2, okay? These are the common ones. Then we have a 3. What remains for 120, we'll place them here. Remember, it's only the prime factors. So we are going to put 2 and also 5. Then what do we put here? 7. Well done if you have indicated it like this. If you have not, please take your time and you are able to repeat the video again 
so that you see how to calculate them. The Venn diagram for 32 and 80 is going to be in what format? Okay, I've listed these factors for you. Can you represent them in the Venn diagram? Pause the video and let's see. It's time to reveal. First, all those which appear on both sides, we'll place them in the middle. So there's a two and a two. Do we have another set of two? Yes. Another set of twos? Yes. Okay. So what remains of this side? For 32, we have two. And for 80, we have five. Remember, if you are finding the highest common factor, you simply multiply what's in the intersection. Lowest common multiple, multiply everything. Then it will be fine. Okay. So... Our highest common factor is 16, and also our lowest common multiple will be 160 by multiplying all this. Okay, we are going to have an independent task. Find the LCM and the HCF of 120 and 84. So these are the factors. Can you find the LCM and HCF of 120 and 84? Simply extract from these Venn diagrams and put your answer. Please take time to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to post any comments that you could have below and like the video. Until next time, have a pleasant day.